Hello. So today we are going to discuss a linear regression example using gradient descent. As a recap from the previous video, we see that we had defined linear regression where the predicted weight uh, value of y is given as a combination of weights. These are the parameters to be learned and the x values are the observed values and that we use gradient descent algorithm which is a search algorithm for finding the weights to minimize the loss and this is the weight update uh, formula the new weight is given as the previous weight with the weight update where alpha is the learning rate we had also seen that this lms update rule or withdraw Hoff learning rule is written in this manner. It could be used as batch gradient descent or stochastic gradient descent. In the batch gradient descent, we take the values for all training examples, and that is the example which we will be going through in this video. In the previous one, we had seen the example with one training data. So we had just one value of x and y. And we had these initial weights W03, W12, and the learning rate was 0.1. So, this HX we computed, and then we got the updated, the weight updated as 2.9. So, 3 becomes 2.9, and W1 becomes 1.8. Okay, so after one update, this was the uh, scenario. This we discussed previously. So now today we are going to talk about batch training. So we have a very small sample set of five data points. We have only one X dimension. So we have two weights W0, W1 and the learning rate is given, to, uh, given as 0.1. So the initial W0 is 3.3, W1 is 1.1. For reference, we have written this weight update, how that is done, and then finally how the weight, new weight will be calculated. After this, del by del wj, lw is computed. Okay. So, for given w0 and w1, we will compute the hx values for these given x's, which are these. Okay, so how is this HX coming? 5.2, how do we get it? We get it as 3.3 plus 1.9X. So this is this. Okay, so that is the general formula. Y equal to W0 plus W1X because we have only one dimension. Now the weight gradient updates, which is this value. Uh, HX minus Y into XJ. So we do it for W0. And now we are doing it for all the examples because this is batch gradient descent. So all the example uh, gradient updates we will take as hx minus y into the x0 which is 1 consistently. So 5.2 which is this hx minus 5 for the first x. For the second 7.1 minus 6, 9 minus 10 and so on. So, when we add up, we see that it comes to 0. That's okay. We just have used the formula and whatever we got as update. For W1, now for W1, we have hx minus y into x. So, we will take that particular x. So, 5.2 minus 5 into 1 because this x is 1. For the second data point, this x is 2. So, we write 7.1 minus 6 into 2. For the third one, x is 3. So, we write 9 minus 10 into 3. Similarly, for the fourth and the fifth. And surprisingly, this also comes out to be 0, which means since this portion becomes 0, not alpha, the learning rate is there, but we have nothing to multiply it with because both are 0. So, for this particular example and these initialization weights, uh, we also compute the losses which are given as the summation of 
the residuals, squares of residuals. So, hx minus y squared at each point. So, 5.2 squared, 1.1 squared and so on. It comes out to be 9.9. .9. And we also see no change in weights. This happens to be so because of the particular W0, W1 we have taken. Okay, we will take. Uh, so, these are the variations which may happen when you take the different initializations. So, in the next slide, we will take one more example. Okay. So, here again, we have the same example, but now we have the new initialization and we will now give the solutions for two iterations. Here it is. So, now W0 is 3 and W1 is 2. Previously, it was something else. Learning rate, uh, rate is 0.1. So, we compute the HX for the first iteration. And now see here, the value of W0 does not change. If you compute for yourselves, you will see that the weight updates for the W0 comes out to be 0. Okay, So, this delta for the first comes out to be 0. So, no update. However, for the second one, we do get an update of minus 1. So, this multiplied by 0.1, which is the learning rate, uh, gets us to subtract 2 minus 0.1. So, we get 1.9. So, these are some things which you can try on your own and be confident that this is how the gradient descent algorithm works. So, we get this is the loss and these are the new values. Now, using this 3 and 1.9, we do the computations for HX for the second iteration. And with the gradient updates, we get these as the new values and our new loss is 10.35. So, this just gives you an idea how the gradient descent algorithm works. We start with a given set of uh, weights, uh, random initializations and also the learning rate and then we see how the weight update takes place. In the previous slide, we had taken some other initialization and we saw and we saw that the uh, there was no weight update, both the gradients were 0. However, for this, for 3 and 2, we did get a change in the W1. So, this is how the gradient descent algorithm will work and weight updates take place. We will go through more examples for better understanding. But for now, I hope this makes the concept clear to you. So, thank you. Thanks for watching.